in progress. Morning, my dear friends. I'm Dr. K. V. Balas Brumin, retired meteorologist from Chennai. This is my YouTube channel, Balavin Kural. I have planned to release a series of videos in connection with the Azadika Amrit Mahotsav with the title Growth and Development India Meteorological Department. In today's video, I am going to tell you about how surface observations are taken. Because uh, in many of our uh, talks, the uh, officers and staff of uh, EMD used to, to tell that uh, we are uh, taking observations in the observatories. So what exactly is this uh, observation? How to take? So this is what I am going to explain with, uh, with the help of uh, some photos. So basically, I am uh, showing the photos of uh, Chennai Nungambakam Observatory. So let us uh, have a So this is the wind vane of a Nungambakam observatory. <coughs> let us say one observer is going to take the three UTC observation. That is 8.30 hours IST in the morning. So here nobody can come and straight away go and take an observation. There should be a continuity in what uh, the observations taken or whether being analyzed or whether being studied. Some continuity should be there. So immediately after coming to office, he, he will come to office at 7 o'clock and relieve his uh, previous duty uh, person. And then he should check the uh, monthly meteorological registers. These are the registers in which we are uh, entering the data. So he should check these uh, registers. There are some small calculations of uh, how to reduce the station level pressure to the mean sea level pressure, how to apply temperature correction, like that there are some small calculations, how to calculate relative humidity. So all these things, whatever his previous uh, batchmate has done, he will check. Then around 8.15, he will go to the wind vane. And uh, there he will, this is called as cup counter anemometer and here, there is a window in which, uh, like a odometer of a two-wheeler, there will be readings, numbers will be there. So he has to take the initial reading, wait for three minutes and take the second reading. The difference between the second reading and the first reading will give him the uh, speed of the wind in kilometers per hour. So uh, at the same time, he will uh, watch this uh, wind vane to find out the average wind direction in those three three minutes. Okay. So after this, uh, so these are the two instruments uh, that are kept at the terrace of the main building of the uh, regional meteorological center. And this is also another instrument. This is called as pressure Dines pressure tube anemometer. There will be a hole in this vein, wind vein portion here, one hole will be there and here there will be uh, uh, several uh, holes 
so air will be entering through this also and the, through the uh, these holes also so from here this uh, uh, so this is the whole arrangement in that uh, in that particular uh, building so so this is the uh, Reins pressure tube uh, anemogram instrument so you can see two tubes one tube is connected to the vein hole the another uh, uh, tube is connected to the perforated hole portion so one is fed to the top and another is fed to the bottom in this cylindrical portion so the pressure from uh, the, due to air will be coming to the top and the pressure due to the normal air which is coming through the perforated portion will, go, will be going to the uh, bottom in between liquid that is water is there so this is a uh, the speed of the wind will uh, will create some sort of pressure and with using that we are measuring the atmospheric pressure so here there will be a cylinder and that cylinder one chart will be found and a pointer will be marking every day morning nine o'clock we have to change the chart so we will get the 24 hours record of the uh, wind speed and direction okay so this is this is how the i have kept it open and taken a photograph so this is how it looks like inside so this is our stevenson screen observatory from the wind van it is the uh, terrace of the third floor three floor storied building so from there he will walk and come to this uh, surface observatory so here we have got a single stevenson screen double stevenson screen ordinary rain gauge and S uh, srrg so in this First, he will open the uh, this uh, single dimension screen and take the reading of the ray bulb. Then he will take the reading of the wet bulb also. Maximum, he will read again, but this will be the same as what reading has been taken in the previous day, 17:30. So, in the morning when he has uh, come to office and checked the old records. He would have noted down what was the maximum recorded uh, at the 1730 hours observation of the previous day. So that he will check whether the same thing is there. Then this is the uh, minimum thermometer. So now only the minimum temperature uh, reading will be there, will occur just before sunrise it is occurring. So morning 8.30 we will have the minimum temperature. So he will note down. Then afterwards he will remove this and just lift. When he is lifting, that uh, uh, glass index, uh, dumbbell shaped glass index will move and come to the edge of the liquid. Because of the surface tension of the liquid, it will not break it out and come out. So it will stand there. Then we will hang it and check the reading. Now this reading and dry bulb reading should be almost same. Okay. Then he will remove this maximum uh, thermometer. This, uh, which is the top and shake it then from maximum temperature it will come to normal temperature when you then he will check the temperature uh, of uh, this maximum thermometer and the dry bulb thermometer both should be same so now here everything is the uh, job is over at that time he should check whether this muslin cloth is white without dust and all whether water is there in this bottle the bottle should be also very clean so all these things he will check and close it okay then he will come to this uh, double stevenson screen he will open this and remove the chart of the uh, thermogram then change the new chart and check the reading in the dry bulb ther uh, uh, thermometer and see whether this instrument is also showing the same uh, temperature then he will put a time mark. He will see what is the time in his watch and uh, put a mark there. So that uh, he will write in the in pencil or pen in that uh, in the chart. Then he will open this and check the uh, uh, change the, this chart. So uh, every 15 days, if this uh, bunch of hair, which is a sensing element here, hair hygrograph, this is called as 
hair I got rough. The bunch of hair uh, hairs here should be washed with the shampoo, cleaned and all, so that it will show the uh, humidity correctly. Okay. So this this is the arrangement here. So after taking this uh, uh, temperature reading and changing the charts, there he will come to the ordinary rain gauge and measure rainfall if any is there. Then he will come to this self-recording rain gauge, open it. He has to change the this chart. So previous day chart he will remove and put a new chart here. Then he would have brought some water with him. So he will pour water here. There is a small opening. Actually this opening is connected to the funnel, uh, bottom portion of the funnel here. So he will pour water. At that time the pen will be at zero level here. So it will rise up to 10. When it is uh, reaching 10, there will be a valve here. That valve will open and will drain that all the water inside that. It's as if rain is falling and whether we are checking whether the instrument is working or not. So this he will he will do. Then if there is any uh, evaporimeter is there, that evaporimeter uh, temperature he will take. If a grass minimum thermometer is there, that grass minimum thermometer he will take. Then if he, it, uh, there is a subsoil uh, uh, thermometers are there, that he will uh, one by one, four will be there mostly. So he will remove one by one and check the reading. And afterwards he will come to office. After coming to office, he will take the reading of the uh, barometer which is kept in the room. So that photo I am not having. So after taking the uh, barometer reading, he will prepare a message. So he will have a packet book in which he will note down all the readings. After coming to office, he will make entry in the Mandri Meteorological Registers. After that, he will have the uh, he will prepare the telegram in a telegram book. Now telegrams we are not issuing, so that system has gone. Now the uh, readings are either uh, going by phones, cell phones, by SMS messages, or by uh, email messages. So uh, this way the messages are coming to the collection centers. So this is how. The surface observation is taken. So every Wednesday, uh, the clocks of the automatic instruments, thermogram, uh, thermograph, hygrograph, SRRG, barograph, animograph, all these things are should be given a binding. Every Wednesday we used to give binding. <coughs> Mostly one week it will come. Suppose due to some problem, if it has stopped. Every, every day, eight times we are going to the uh, observation, isn't it? So every time we should check whether the instrument is running. The instrument is not running. The first problem may be the clock has stopped. So you have to give winding. So after giving winding, you should come and may, uh, write a note uh, in the log register that uh, the clock has stopped and I have given winding. Then uh, every 10 days or 15 days, that muslin cloth is to be changed that uh, uh, if required that uh, uh, hair uh, in the hair hygrograph has to be cleaned. Then every uh, three months uh, or uh, six months, uh, we should uh, whitewash the Stevenson screen boxes. So the, all these things are there. Mostly these whitewashing will be done when the station is inspected by a inspector from the headquarters so normally he will do he will wear he will paint all the instruments check all the instruments and all uh, why that is necessary what they will do all these things we will see in the next video thank you my dear friends